If you're a student and you learn economics, macroeconomics, then this video is for you. Because in this video you will learn the quintessential macroeconomic model, the aggregate demand, aggregate supply model, the ADAS model. This model is long, long and complicated, but in this video we'll make it easy and simple. I already made a long video about the ADAS model. And then I made a short video about it. And then I made a video about how to show an economy in a recession and an overheating economy on the ADAS graph. But this video will be even better. This will be the greatest video of all time. Because in this video you will learn how to solve problems, how to solve examination problems on the ADAS model. This is the ADAS model. It's about the general price level versus the gross domestic product, GDP. And it's about the three curves. First, the long run aggregate supply is a vertical line. Second, aggregate demand slopes down. And third, the short run aggregate supply slopes up. And when all curves intersect each other at the same point, that point is called a long-run macroeconomic equilibrium. And in the long-run equilibrium, the economy produces its potential output. Imagine you're taking an exam. You're in an examination room. You're reading a problem. And that problem will give you an event. And that event will shift one of the curves which means that your job is to read a problem, see an event, and to figure out which curve do you need to shift. Let's start with the AD curve. The AD curve shifts every time when one of these factors change. Changes in consumption, investments, government spending or net exports. Every single time you see an event that changes any of these, you need to shift the AD curve. For example, consumers become pessimistic and they cut their spending. In that case, consumption will fall and aggregate demand will fall and the AD curve will shift to the left. And the economy will move from point A to point B. Another example, the central bank cuts the key interest rate. Every time the central bank cuts the key interest rate, it increases the money supply, which means that people and businesses will have more money, which means that consumption will go up and investments will go up which means that aggregate demand will go up and the AD curve will shift to the right. And the economy will move from point A to point B. And these events will change the long-run aggregate supply, changes in four factors of productivity, physical capital, human capital, technology and natural resources. Every single time you see an event that changes any of these, you shift the long-run aggregate supply and you shift the short-run aggregate supply as well. You shift both supplies. Suppose population becomes better educated. Better education improves human capital and human capital will change the long-run aggregate supply and the short-run aggregate supply. And both aggregate supply curves will shift to the right. And the economy will move from point A to point B. So the short run aggregate supply would shift if there is a change in any of the factors of productivity. And there is one more factor that will shift the short run aggregate supply only. It's input prices. Prices for production inputs, prices for raw materials, transport, and wages. For example, imagine that workers demand higher wages. Wages are labor costs, production costs for businesses. 
If businesses pay higher wages, then businesses earn lower profits. If productions become more costly and less profitable, then businesses will most likely cut down on productions. In the short run, aggregate supply will fall and the SRAS curve will shift to the left. And the economy will move from point A to point B. And now you know which events shift which curves. Now you are ready to solve a problem. So let's do it. Here is a problem. Consumers become pessimistic and they cut down their spending. Show this event on the ADAS graph and explain how the economy will adjust back to the long-run equilibrium. This story is about consumers, it's about consumption, and consumption changes aggregate demand. So when people reduce their consumption, aggregate demand will fall and the AD curve will shift to the left. The AD curve shifts to the left and the economy moves from point A to point B. Point A was the old long-run equilibrium and point B is the new short-run equilibrium. And as the economy moves from point A to point B, prices fall, GDP falls, and the economy falls into a recession. And because point B is the new short-run equilibrium, the economy will stay there in the short run for a while, not forever, not in the long run, because in the long run, the economy has to recover. The economy has to go back to the long run, aggregate supply. How does the economy recover? How does it fix itself? How does it self-correct? And the answer is just one word, one thing that will fix an entire economy. And that word is wages. <laughs> wages is that magical thing, that one thing that will fix an entire economy. Let's see how it happens. When an economy suffers a recession, Many people lose jobs, and the unemployed people are willing to accept lower wages. And that is why, in the long run, wages fall. And when wages fall, business profits rise. Because when businesses pay workers low wages, businesses earn high profits. And higher profits make businesses produce more. They make businesses supply more, so that the short-run aggregate supply rises and the SRAS curve shifts to the right. And the economy moves from point B to point C. And from B to C, prices fall and GDP rises. From point B to point C, the economy recovers, it restores its potential output, and point C is the new long-run equilibrium. That was my video on how to solve problems on the ADAS model. Now you can explain how an economy falls into a recession and how it gets out, how wages fix economies. It was a difficult topic, but you did it good for you and stay tuned for more videos.